y'all. So the makeup is done now. It's time for me to get up out of here. Sunday and it's actually raining outside but it doesn't matter it's not gonna stop my plan for the day um, I have plans to get me some aromatherapy from Bath and Body Works so come along with me to show you guys a couple of the things that I got. So first things first, um, I got um, this a uh, three wick candle. It's called Champagne Toast. Love the smell. It was actually on sale. It was um, $12.99 and I decided to pair it with the hand soap. Um, it's, a, it's also Champagne Toast. Um, I love this scent because I feel like it gives like rich auntie vibes. You know, so I love it. It's very luxurious, an amazing scent to have in the apartment. Um, I also got, so I've been, uh, one thing that I can say is I love aromatherapy. I feel like scents have a very calming effect on just like your mood, on your mind. And as someone who has struggled with anxiety, like I've always experimented with different scents, like lavender helps me calm down, eucalyptus helps me calm down. So I got like two new scents from their aromatherapy line. The first one is Vanilla Patchouli. And the other one is Lavender Cedarwood. So I got two scents. I decided to branch out because I normally tend to get, I normally tend to stick with the eucalyptus, but I decided to try two new scents um, this time around. The one thing I can say though, oh, I got one more thing. How could I forget? I got my hand sanitizer. So this is Eucalyptus Experiment. So um, I, I try to commute a lot for work and um, sometimes commuting can be stressful. So I make sure I have like my relaxing hand sanitizer. So when I clean my hands, I'm also relaxing too. All right, so one thing I must say is this is like really a, an important part of my self care routine because just this, like the vibe that you, that sense give to your, your apartment or to your house is just unmatched. You know, it helps you feel calm, you know? I always think of homes as a healing space, and so I feel like scents help give that. It helps cater to your, your five senses, so I'm always like a big proponent of like of aromatherapy and just like making sure that your home smells amazing, right? The one thing I will say though is I actually came to Bath and Body Works for two things. So I wanted to get the the eucalyptus um scrub so that like you know when I'm showering I can scrub and 
you know, it smelled amazing, but it wasn't there. And I also was looking for like this body mist that was in eucalyptus as well. It's like this mist that you can spray on yourself or you can spray it on like the, on your pillow. But I didn't quite see it there. So like maybe my next one, I'll get it there. But I'm really excited. I have my scents and now I'm ready to continue my self-care weekend. Hey y'all, um, I'm here to give you guys just a quick weekend recap since you guys followed me throughout this week. Um, so Saturday, I started off the morning with just some quiet time on my patio. I absolutely love my patio. I feel like it's just like a treasure that I have in Brooklyn, you know? Um, so I just started with some quiet time and I use um, these cards. It's actually called um, Mindfulness Cards. I actually got them from, I actually got them um, for a gift. Um, but you can actually find them um, on my Amazon storefront. So these are mindfulness cards. And what I love about them is that I feel like sometimes with quiet time, you know it's important to be still, but you don't always know what to think about. So sometimes it'll give you different prompts. So this prompt says, there is no control, which is, I feel like, I'm really amazing because I feel like um, as someone who's just ambitious, like I always feel like there's always like this urgency to, to control outcomes. And in life, it just doesn't go that way, right? Like life... You can't just control everything. You have to let things happen as just as they do, right? And even as someone who has who still is working on the anxiety, I know that like sometimes my anxiety comes from trying to control things that I have no control over, right? So the more I recognize that, the more I can just relax and just enjoy every single moment that I have because every single moment is precious, right? So that's what I did on Saturday, and then um, after that, I went. Um, you know, after that, I went to say less. It was my cousin's birthday dinner, so we we're able to celebrate. Um, something that I find really funny is that my cousin's birthday is like a month before me and my twin's birthday. Oh yeah, I'm a twin, y'all. <laughs> um, and she will be making appearances on, on my YouTube. Don't even worry, she's coming soon, okay? But yeah, I'm a twin, so um, uh, my cousin's birthday is always like a month before, so it's always exciting to celebrate. Um, you know, if we went to say less, I mean, I feel like it definitely is, it definitely is a trendy restaurant, definitely a chic restaurant. Um, I definitely feel like it's a restaurant that you should try at least once, you know? One thing that we noticed when we were there was like, there were just a lot of different celebrities there. There were a lot of private parties there. Like they had like a back room where they had events, you know, like with the curtain, um, you know, with the security guard guarding that room. So you can definitely tell it's one of those places that like people come to for like just chic events or just to have a private dinner and you know it's right by times square so it really is conveniently located uh something that i like about say less is that there definitely are a lot of different places to take pictures like if you go there people are taking pictures left and right every single corner is someone taking a picture so i made sure i got mine okay i made sure i had my I got my picture okay but it's definitely one of those like picturesque places that like has many different places to take pictures and it's definitely a place that you want to go to at least once, you know, to say like, you know, I've been here, I've tried the experience, you know, so definitely a place that you want to try at least once. And I will say, before you go out there, please make sure you are dressed to impress. You know, you will definitely feel like underdressed if you're not like dressed up in some way, because it definitely is like one of those, you know, trendy spots. Um, what's interesting too is I didn't realize how late we got back home. Like we, um... We got back home around 2.30. So even though it's like a restaurant, it definitely gives night cup vibes because it was definitely open like really late. So that was pretty cool. But um, definitely a place that you should try at least once. And you know, it was great to just celebrate um, a birthday. You know, it was always great to be around um, a dinner table with like people that you care about. So it was really cool. Um, as you guys saw on Sunday, I went to Bath and Body Works. Um, I didn't quite get what I was looking for. But I did get some other things. I got my candles. Um, something else I meant to say too is that with Bath and Body Works, they there are many different scents that pair well with perfume. So for example, I have Valentino, Donna Born in Roma, and I have um, YSL, Montpellier. And like there's some Bath and Body Works sprays that pair very well, but apparently social media has, you know, because of social media, um, everyone has been buying those scents, so I wasn't able to buy those scents at Bath and Body at Bath and Body Works. But that's okay, things happen, all right? Um, so with that being said, um, I took my nap, I relaxed, I had my tea, sipping my tea, okay? So I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of my um, my evening by just, you know, 
being mindful, <laughs> practicing my mindfulness. But also, um, one thing I make a point of doing is just the week is full of so many adulting responsibilities, right? Adulting is a setup, you know? It is what it is. But, like, there are definitely moments where you can, like, just really cherish the moment and really prioritize yourself. And so one of the things I'm doing today before I go to sleep is a mask. So I have bought, like, a bundle of, like, masks. And this is one, this one is a green tea mask. It is called Work Hard and Glow. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to, you know, use my jade roller to, you know, uh, uh, roll out the stress, you know, roll in the glow. All right. But I feel like um, in terms of like skin, I feel like it's always it's always one of the highest compliments to get like the compliment that you're glowing or that your skin is glowing or that your skin looks beautiful. So, you know, we always got to take care of it. And, um, you know, I feel like it's just like it forces you to pause because you can't really do that much. If you have a mask on your face, you can't really move that much. You can't really drink that much. It forces you to be still. So I'm excited to do this. Um, so I'm going to tune in for today, tune out for today. That was my weekend vlog. Um, please let me know what was your favorite part of my weekend. Um, and to keep up with me, make sure you are staying, you are following me on, on Instagram. It's the same title, Jessica Lindor. Um, please make sure you are um, signing up for my email so that you can get the latest news. And please make sure you are turning on your post notifications so that you can be notified whenever I drop or, or upload a video. All right, so have a beautiful day. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.